Hey guys, this is Betty and I'm with Shore Life Creations. I'm going to jazz up a regular picture today. We have this blue truck country picture that I have added a rail to. It has been stapled and glued to the frame so it won't come off. The rail came from Crafty Tessie. You can check her out on Etsy. First, what we want to do is put moss on our styrofoam piece. Square piece of styrofoam, cover it with moss so everything looks neat and you don't see your styrofoam. So cut your, this is sheet styrofoam. So cut our sheet moss, I'm sorry. Cut your sheet moss so it fits around your block of styrofoam. You don't need to cover the bottom because you want this, that part of the styrofoam to attach to the rail. Once I get this sheet cut, we'll then hot glue it and also use floral pins to attach the moss to the styrofoam. Make sure you cover the edges. Use plenty of hot glue. Give it just a second to stick, then start adding your floral pins. Wrap your ends just like you would a Christmas package and then secure with more floral pins. I'm dipping the floral pins in the hot glue before I insert so that they will hold and not give up. Now let's attach our styrofoam to the rail. We'll be using both hot glue and zip ties to make sure that it stays on securely. Make sure your block is in the right position so you can still get to the openings on the rail. You'll need to be able to feed your zip ties through the holes on the rail. You'll want to hot glue first. Plenty of hot glue. Position. Make sure it's even and press. Then add your zip ties. You'll want the knobby part of your zip tie to be on top, not on the back. Never take a chance of scratching somebody's wall or door or wherever they might want to put it. I position the zip ties closer to the middle because I know that's where the bow is going to go and it will cover those up. Now that your styrofoam is secure onto your rail, we'll put it aside and the next part is we'll make a bow. For this bow I'll be using Pro Bow the Hand. And doing a two ribbon bow
First, you'll need your wire. Make sure it's long enough that it'll, after even completing your bow, it will wrap around the styrofoam and the rail. The blue truck ribbon is perfect for this project since it's a blue truck picture. We'll use that with some floral ribbon. Then get out your fluff box. This is when your bow comes to life. And there you have your bow ready to attach. Take your wires, feed one through the top hole of the rail, feed the other through the bottom hole of the rail, and secure your bow. Isn't that pretty? We haven't got even gotten to the flowers yet. Just the bow gives it a different look. Now let's start adding our florals. We'll start with greenery first. That'll be our base in the back. position where they give it height and dimension but don't cover up your picture if you do it on the left side make sure you do the same thing on the right side you want to keep your balance You put greenery on one side, add that same piece of greenery over on the other side. Now you need to decide what flowers to coordinate with your picture, I normally start with the biggest ones that I'm going to use. Place those closest to the bow and then work my way outward. Make sure you give them a bend so they're not laying flat. You want them sticking out so that you have more motion and dimension going on. 
Nothing looks good just laying flat. And again, if you did it on the left side, make sure you follow up and do it on the right side. Now we'll add some accent flowers. I chose to use pink dogwood. And this is when you start filling in. So you don't have any of your moss or your rail showing. Make it nice and full. I have my dogwoods facing in different directions, in different heights. You can see. But you can also still see there's some blank area that it still needs filling in. So we're not done adding yet. I chose some long, wispy, white flowers to add. That will add to the height at the top. I also like to add flowers to my bow or incorporate it through the loops of bows. This one I added one at the top and just kind of pulled it down into the bow. So it kind of just meshes everything together as one. I added a steel pick to this lavender and then hot glue to make sure it stays secure. Lavender and cotton says country to me. So of course we had to add that to this picture.
can always add leaves, put a pick on the end. They make great filler. I'm going to come back with a little more greenery to fill in. Put a pick on it. Take a good look. Make sure everything's right where you want it. And I think we have this done. Now how cute would that be hanging on your wall, hanging on a door, in your bathroom, your kitchen? It just takes your pictures to another level. Thank you for watching.